Life is like toilet paper. You're either on a roll or taking shit from some asshole. Man, Charlo gave him too much respect, man. Too much. He didn't fight his fight. What would you do to Canelo? I don't know if he was scared or not, but, you know, Canelo did a tremendous job in there. He did what he had to do. Uh, oh, that was you out here? You stepped on Carl. We're down in here. So you just heard Terrence Crawford back in uh, September. Uh, he was giving this comment coming from the uh, the fight between Jamel Charlo and Canelo Alvarez. And we all know Jamel Charlo, he didn't really put up a big fight. It looked like he was in there to survive. He was throwing punches, but pretty much he was in there to survive, man, right? And he lost. He got knocked down and he lost. And people say he just went in there and get a check. Um, and Terrence Crawford, you know, he said he was disappointed in Charlo, pretty much saying he don't know if he was scared and stuff like that. But listen to this, though. Check this out. Any thoughts on the fight, man? Man, we got the victory. That's all that matters at the end of the day. You know, all of them ain't going to look spectacular or like we want them to. But as long as we get the win, come back and look good in the next one. You know, Terrence, this, this fight, and I could see, a, um, you know, he, he didn't let his hands go against a guy with power. Is that something Shakur's got to work on, or, or what do you think? No, no, no. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, you had them days where... It ain't there. So, that was Terrence Crawford's opinion on the performance of Shakur Stevenson. And we know Shakur and Terrence is like brothers. So, a lot of people are saying, you know, how come Terrence Crawford didn't criticize Shakur Stevenson's performance, but he criticized Jamel Charles' performance? Well, first off, Jamel Charlo and Bud don't like each other. That's number one. He ain't going to say nothing good about uh, Charles' performance because Charlo didn't perform, and he didn't live up to his expectation. But I'm pretty sure if Terrence Crawford, if, if Charlo would have gave it his all, Crawford would have gave him his props for it because Crawford likes to win. He likes winners. He likes people that, that gives it their all. That's the reason why he's not really interested anymore in the Charlo fight. As far as Shakur's, in Shakur's situation, you know, he said as long as they get the win, that's what matters, right? But the way I feel about it is he should still he should still criticize his little bro and, and let him know, listen, man, you know, you could have went in, you know, put on a little bit better than what you did, even though you got the win. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just good pep talk. That's what brothers do to brothers, to the little brothers, you know. Let them know, hey, you did your thing, you got the win. But yo, you know, next time, man, you gotta go in there and, and 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 straight dominate motherfuckers. I mean, especially when Shakur was telling everybody that's what he was gonna do. He's gonna go in there and fuck him up. So Crawford should, you know, grab his little brother by the scruff some, you know, and just be like, hey, look, yeah, you did your thing, man, but you know, be better next time. You know, because when you when you look at both fights, there's the situations is a little different. Charlo moved up in weight. Uh, Charlo lost. Shakur won. <laughs> you know, but both of them was timid as hell in the ring. They both were uh, moving around a lot in the ring. You know, both of them were. Um, only difference is Shakur barely got fucking touched, man. Shakur didn't get knocked down. Um, Canelo was finding Charlo the whole fight. And he figured out how to find him. De Los Santos was exposed, in my opinion. He couldn't figure out how to find Shakur. He couldn't figure him out. He couldn't figure out he didn't have the skill set, like I said, to find Shakur and do exactly what Canelo did to Jamel Charlo. That's to me, was the difference. Only thing is, um, I think uh, when you look at it in the grand scheme of things, uh, 
uh, Charlo and Shakur did the exact same thing. So that's why I'm saying uh, Bud should still put a little bit of criticism on Shakur. Just a little bit, you know, um, nothing too harsh. Just like let him know, look, man, you were saying you was going to go in there and whoop this motherfucker ass. You didn't. I don't know whatever reason, you know, but uh, shape up next time. man. you did good as far as you got the win. But next time you got to show and prove, man. You gotta show and prove, especially if you want to be, you want to, you want to get on the big stage. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put on better performances than that, man. Hey, not to tell him, not to, you know, you ain't gotta stand there and be a brawler, but just, you know, just be a little bit more versatile next time and, and, and adjust a little bit more, you know. So I, I just found that a little interesting, you know, that he was willing to really all the way like dismiss Shakur's performance, but then he. He straight up trashed Charlo, which we I just explained why he did that. I mean, you're not going to... Once Charlo did bad, that was a wrap. You already knew Bud was going to flame him for that because they don't like each other. He don't like the dude. So that's where that's coming from. And, you know, that's what it is. But as far as him not really um, criticizing Shakur, or he probably did He probably did step in Shakur and say, hey, man, he ain't going to do it in front of the cameras. He ain't going to let the, the, the world know that. You know, that's another thing, too. Um, so we don't know. He probably did sit Shakur down and have a nice little talk with him. But see, you don't you don't you don't scream on your brother in public. You keep that behind closed doors. So he probably did criticize Shakur a little bit, but probably still wasn't like giving him a lashing, but just letting him know, you know. He probably was you know, saving face for the cameras. He probably was disappointed in Shakur's performance. And we probably ain't never gonna know that though. Which is dope. I like that. You know, you don't shame your brother in public, man. You know, so that's just my take on it. Let me know what y'all think. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one.